Well, welcome to Thought for the Day. I had a phone call this week that really encouraged me. It was from a friend. And it was a phone call saying that he was unable to do uh, something that uh, he'd, he'd said he would do, do for me. And I have to admit, normally, uh, that sort of message uh, I don't find easy. Uh, the, the email late on the Saturday night, uh, the thing I'd promised to record for you, so I haven't got, I haven't got around to it. And I'm thinking, oh, if you'd told me earlier I could have asked someone else and now it's just going to have to be more of me and it's going to disappoint other people. And it's, it's quite hard to get messages like that. I guess I mean, it's certainly better to be told than, than, than for the thing not to, not to turn up. Or, or simply the message, sorry I won't be making it tonight to some meeting or gathering. And I, I understand the pressure that, that's on people but it's still disappointing because it feels like um, what we're going to do is going to be reduced by that person not not being there. Uh, but but this was different. There was something different about this phone call. For a start, it was a phone call. It wasn't just a message to dumping the thing back on me. It was a phone call. He he wanted to make sure that it was okay uh, if he didn't do it. I mean, he was able to do it, but he, he'd rather not because of a lot of other uh, pressures on his life. And secondly, it was someone. I'm working quite quite closely with, and what this phone call said to me, this was some of the real encouragement, was that the group, the friendship, was really working, working as it as it's supposed to supposed to, that we were willing to to ask each other other for help. Uh, it was in fact a, a, a task that we'd we'd already shared out between uh, one or two other people. So uh, my friend not taking part wouldn't mean that it was all, ju all just me, it would just be shared, shared out in a different way. Uh, and, and it was also a, a, a work, an expression of working together. It didn't lead to this person being isolated. Uh, it just led to a sort of slightly different configuration of working together. Uh, sometimes when I get the, those messages that someone says they're unable to do something, uh, I fear I think often rightly that it's a it's a step on the way to isolation. Uh, I invited them to to contribute something to do something, as as really a part of way of part of a way of, of connecting them in, and they're stepping back. And after this this oh I can't do that. There will be a, a, a not turning up, not engaging, and it will take a lot of prayer and a lot of work to draw that person back back into fellowship. But that, this phone call wasn't like that. I knew my friend wasn't saying it, it didn't want to work with me. Just, just that the, he was admitting that the, the pressure of things was, was too great at this stage. And there was a real honesty in that. He was doing what we were talking about a few weeks ago. He was, he was humbling himself. He was admitting that actually he couldn't do all those things. He was admitting that it didn't all depend on him. Wonderful humbling, a real honest humbling. And it reflect, made me reflect that asking for help is an extraordinarily powerful thing. The young person, uh, one of the young people in, in our life, uh, quite often says, says to us, well, nobody cares about me. And asking for help is, a, is an antidote to that. I mean, we can, we can tell, tell them, well, we care about you. But that doesn't really cut it. What really cuts it is when they need need something, they need some help, and we're able to give it. That's what really un really undermines the idea that nobody cares about me. Asking for help takes us out of that self-centered spiral. And it's also, in two ways, something that makes us much more resilient. Uh, I think I've probably talked uh, before about research into what makes us resilient, able to cope with, with problems. And one of the things I've talked about before is thankfulness. But two of the other things, one is having a community of people around who can help us and who we can help. And obviously asking for help is part of that. But the, the other thing uh, which causes people to be more resilient is a sense of of agency, of, of empowerment, that they can achieve something. And 
uh, in, its, in a bad form, that's that's what sort of narcissists pe uh, believe. They they believe that they're so so wonderful that they can always achieve something, and that's I think why narcissists in some ways are quite resilient. You can't crush a narcissist because they just bounce back because they say they they ignore ignore what you said because they they believe in inside them that uh, that they're the most important person and that everyone else deserves to to serve serve their agenda. And I don't want to encourage you to go down that path. But there is a healthy sort of agency which says, I am able to do this because I can ask for help. When we don't know where we can turn, being out, asking for help says, yes, I can do something. I am empowered. And asking for help is powerful too because it, it connects us to others. Uh, my friend's a phone call this week meant I could pray for, for them in the pressures they were facing, the, the particularly difficult things they were, they were having to do over the next few days. And finally, of course, someone who's willing to ask for help, who's able to ask for help, is someone who's more willing to, to ask the one who is always more, more willing to to give than to receive, always longs to hear our requests, the Lord himself. People who are able to ask each other for help are people who are able to pray. And so even when you've run out for the time being of people to ask, there's still, there's still God, you can still pray. And maybe in fact we should, should pray first because isn't it so much God's way that when we pray, he provides an answer because he provides someone we can ask. So let's be people who learn how to ask for help in a good way. Learn the, the strength, the incredible strength, the incredible power of being someone who asks, who asks uh, your friends, but also one who asks the one who already knows, but who longs to hear our request. God bless you.